from catchy hooks to controversial verses, multi-award winning dancehall musician Winky D's show Getocracy Store has ignited a firestorm of debate. Packed with potent lyricism, the release has left fans and critics scrambling for their microphones, ready to either applaud the artist's boldness or decry the politicization of their music. Since 2019, Winky D's music has sparked international debate and mixed reactions, creating a battleground for passionate opinions. Even some government officials have waded into the controversial debate. Presidential spokesperson George Karamba said, This can only entertain people, Triple C especially, who see in such political ribaldry some compensatory messaging from their blunted politics. Hapana's Viripo APA Self-exiled former cabinet minister Jonathan Moyo said, Hashtag Winky D 2024. This does pass for entertainment, not top drawer stuff but mundane political entertainment with no political value or mileage in the scheme of things. And to be sure, it's not music even by the poorest of standards, but truth be told, look at Kuriskar Mahara. Cho Famba said, what exactly is reprehensible or criminal or whatever the source of your offense is in what at Winkiden Line saying? Is it a crime to refer to the disputed presidential election result? Which is a fact. Did state media not ban his album? And did at Holiton Music not disown a song he did with Winky D after Zanna PF Voices opposed it? Do we not have Van Hovenodia's Vava Fupi no Kirabam Unica? Is corruption not endemic? And did we not all watch the hashtag Gold Mafia documentary? Are Zimbabweans not leaving in droves? If all these things are factual, why are you trying to call out the hounds on an artist? Especially given that you're a seasoned political scientist and politician and composer yourself? And more significantly, a victim of the current regime for holding political views and allegiances that are contrary to its leaders? To use your own words, why are you trying to normalize the abnormal? Would you prefer that Winky D and his young family also made a run for dear life as bullets ricocheted off his house front? No. Prof, you know how dangerous this is, and you shouldn't be shoving our young artists into the crosshairs of an insecure, censorious regime that has no qualms about visiting repressive measures on critical voices. As you yourself have testified here, the Lioness CW said, ACI Winky Dika Bravery Yacho that man when he stands for something he stands hard. God bless Winky D. May he continue to get recognition from Africa and beyond. Smokey said, Enzo Ishal has more hit songs than any other Zimbabwean artist. He is Winky D's only competition in HICC Anatoa Zadzuo. Tedious Musina Kairivo said, from what I have so far read from people who are inclined to ZANU PF like they say forewarned is forearmed. Winky D must increase his vigilance especially on the road and must be very careful when he sends his cars for service and must be very watchful of what he eats. Boris Magudi said, If you don't like Winky D that's pure hate. How can one despise such genuine talent, exceptional artistry the remarkable longevity of a career spanning two decades? Mukaroya IMI. Derek Gota said, Winky D versus Nelson Chamisa. A frank evaluation in the history of Zimbabwean social media. No figure within the opposition ranks has trended as much as Winky D did over his 2023-2024 New Year's political-slash-music gig. While fervor rages among opposition supporters concerning the political undertones in his music, a conspicuous silence envelopes Nelson Chamisa. This silence is by no means coincidental, rather, it is a deliberate act of disregard on Chamisa's part. He is fully aware that his position as the leader of the opposition hangs by a thread. And Winky deposes a credible threat to his leadership. The truth remains that CCC supporters have become fixated on this untalented yet politically vociferous musician, primarily because Nelson Chamisa has let them down as a leader leaving them desperate for any semblance of potential leadership. Chamisa is acutely cognizant of the perils associated with endorsing political musicians, having an acquaintance with one such musician from Uganda who goes by the name Bobby Wine. Although Bobby Wine's political journey in Uganda has been poor, he nonetheless commands the role of opposition leader, much like Chamisa in Zimbabwean politics. 
The ascent of Winky D as the clear favorite among his loyal supporters poses a more formidable threat to Chamisa's leadership than the combined challenges of Tendai Bidi, Welshman Cube, and Senjizo Chibangu. Let it be known that Nelson Chamisa is currently grappling with the rise of Winky D, and his actions, or lack thereof, speak volumes about his apprehension. Katora Kuno Nelson Chamisa Ari Kudokwata Winky D Former Norton legislator Temba Mliswa In life, the more you falsely attack someone, the more their stature grows. We saw it with Strive Masiyu.